man, I sure could lie. I could lie to my family like no other. And really, the only person I was lying to was myself. I had great trauma. I'd been through every kind of abuse there is, emotionally, physically, sexually. I was trying to numb pain that only God can heal, nothing else. My father was an alcoholic. Um, my mother died of a drug overdose. It was deep in, rooted into our family. When I was putting myself in my own prison, God was still there with me, carrying me through every single tear. And even though I turned to a substance to try and fill that void, God was still there knocking on my door. And I got to the point where I was laying on the floor and I was praying, God, please take my life. And at that point, I just couldn't take it anymore. And God said, no, you're gonna get up. And God has put me with all the right people, all the right providers, caregivers, all the right counseling, that we're all Christians, and this has all been God and hard work. Through my addiction, I have learned that God has never left me, and He has broken the chains of addiction in my own personal family with my children. I am happy to say they are both young Christians and serving the Lord and have no problems with alcoholism, and I could not be more grateful. You know, my children, you know, didn't want to be around me because it had gotten so ugly. And my daughter was married, and now I'm happy to say they have two children, and I'm the prime uh, caregiver. And every day, I am so grateful I get to get up and see my grandchildren. And if I would have stayed the way I was, I wouldn't even be able to see them. We are all are going to be on the mountain, and we're all going to be in the valley. But I have to praise God because I have to stay praised up because I'm going to go back in the valley. So if I'm praised up, that valley's not going to be as dark because I know who's going to bring me out of that valley. When I live in God's will, there is nothing I ever need because I get up every day and I have exactly enough for that day, and that's all I'm promised anyways. And if I live in God's will, how can my life be bad? My story I can use to help other people that are in the same situation and bring glory to God. Because this is not about me, it's always about God and what we can do for Him.